this morning we're in beautiful Orange Beach, Alabama. We are at Heritage RV Park. The customer's complaint is the air conditioner is cooling but it is not blowing. So Josh is going to take a look and see what's going on with it today. So, so far we have determined that it is showing that zone one is on, uh, but it's not doing anything at all. All right, so we've got a Dometic Penguin air conditioner here. This unit actually has three of them. We're gonna open it up and test some electrical components and see if we have a failed part or a disconnected wire or why this thing will not come off. Today. All right, so our electrical cabinets on this side. Now I've got the breaker off and the thermostat off, so we don't have a chance of this fan spinning and hurting us. But that fan feels pretty tight, as in uh, it had been seized up before I pushed on it. This isn't the first time this cabinet's been opened by someone. You can see the uh, separation in the gasket. All right. So we have our capacitors and our control board up here. And I'm just doing a visual inspection currently to see if we have any burnt wires or anything bad in there, like a frog or something like that. And at first glimpse here, it doesn't look like capacitors aren't blown up. I don't see any dark coloring on any of the wires. So what I'm going to do is restore power to the unit and uh, test each of these components. Let's see if we're even getting 120 volt power up here. Another place I'll probably look is inside the evaporator box where the 120 volt connections are. Go ahead and do that now before we get down. Now, this doesn't look like it's been removed since it was installed. Always those two screws corroding like that. That's where water sits, condensation. And hopefully we can get them out of there. I don't think there's enough left of it to get it out. get there. Might pull through. I think they got these clips. That motor is super hot. I'm just going to skip this. And uh, I'm going to go turn the power on to it. Alright, so we've restored power at the breaker box, turn the breaker back on, and turn the thermostat on cool. You can hear the compressor is running. You can hear it groaning, but the fan is not spinning. So what we need to do is see if it's the capacitor or if our fan motor is bad. It's extremely hot, so it could be either one. I'm just going to verify that I am, in fact, getting voltage to the fan on high, which is our black wire. 
OBS and getting 116 volt output to the fan, but it's not starting. Manually spun it with my meter, and now we've got fans. So I'm very suspect of the uh, capacitor, so we've got to take power back away and pull the capacitor out and check the fan capacitance. So our customer has politely uh, turned the power off for us at the circuit breaker, but I always do verify um, with a voltage meter before I touch any wires to make sure that I don't get shocked. So I'm just gonna go to the case for a ground. Yes, sir, thank you. I'm gonna check the capacitor top, make sure there's no power going to it. I'm gonna check my relays, and I in fact have no power up here, so that's good. Now this capacitor, giving me a hard time to get out. This capacitor um, assists the compressor motor and the fan in running and it has capacitance ratings. This one here is a 5515. That means there's 55 microfarads of capacitance on the compressor side and 15 microfarads of capacitance on the fan side plus or minus 5%. So we're going to test that with our meter. We do need to remove all wires perform this test. I don't need any resistance readings through components or wiring or anything like that. So I'm going to take the neutrals off and the fan and the compressor. All right. So you'll notice on here, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera very well. We've got three labels. One is a C, which stands for common, which is our neutral. One says fan, that's pretty straightforward. And the other one says HERM, H-E-R-M. That actually stands for hermetically sealed unit, uh, which the compressor is, a hermetically sealed unit. So to perform capacitance test, you're going to turn your voltage meter to microfarads. Looks like a little backwards U and a big F. We're gonna put our black lead on the common and our red lead on. First, we'll test the compressor capacitance. We're getting 18, it's rated at 55. That's not good. We'll check our fan. We're getting one out of 15, which far exceeds the 5% allowance in either direction. So both the compressor and the fan are not receiving the amount of power that they should to start up. Therefore, they're trying to struggle with just 120 volts and no help. So we're gonna go grab a new capacitor and toss it in here and see if See if that'll fix it. I'm quite confident it will. All right, so all of our white wires with our neutrals. We're gonna go on the common or C. Get on there. It's kind of loose. I'm gonna squeeze it and tighten it up a little bit. We don't want anything coming loose. Fake connector, make it a little tighter. And I'm still not feeling it. That's a lot better. Brown on the fan. Red on the compressor labeled Herm. All of our whites together. And then our compressor out. Leave that hanging. Fire it up. All right, so our new capacitor has repaired the air conditioner. We're going to reinstall it. Of course, I've taken power away in.
successful repair. Got zone one air conditioner working again and we're off to the next one.